I know who needs to take action, Declan Ryan. You know, and Henry Shefflin takes the point and stretches Kilkenny's nose just in front by one again. And I think, Marty, the, the physical power of the Kilkenny full forward line in this half could tell, you know, there's a strong wind behind them. You've got Colin Fenley, Owen Larkin and Henry Shefflin in there and, you know, Tip don't have Michael Cahill and Conor Bryan aren't the biggest men in the world. It'll be interesting to see. I expect Kilkenny to play a very, very direct hurling. Remember, as Martin mentioned, uh, Tommy Walsh is on a yellow card from the start of the game. JJ Delaney carries David Herity. Dropping down towards Aidan Fogarty. Breaking ball picked up by TJ Reid. Running at the Tipperary defence, being pursued by Pat Burke and Conor Amani. TJ's efforts goes well wide of the target. Quick puck out from Brendan Cummins. Switching play over to the far over side towards John O'Brien. Gets a little bit of space for the first time in this All Ireland semi final. And John O'Brien from Tumivara puts his name on the score sheet for the very first time. And once again, the Cats and the Premier County are level. Eight that, times level. That's a great score, Marty. Great puck out by Brendan Cummins and John O'Brien. And what a you know, hard week he's had. And condolences to him and Paddy and all the family. And uh, he's a great man to be here at all today. Ball is swept down towards Michael Fennell. There's a little jersey pull. It's going to be a free for Kilkenny, just inside their own half of the field. Now Corbett off camera is trying to tell the linesman that the free should be further back. And to the credit of the referee and indeed the linesman, they've now placed the slither in the right place. Gone back to take this free inside his own half of the field is Richie Pop. He scored one point in the first half. I think to be fair to Larry, he's right there. I think that free was seven or eight yards. I know Jackie Hurley now at it again. They're taking scouts off each other, digging each other with the hurls as Richie Power puts this over the bar. And the referee has taken the action that's required, I feel, and given a yellow card to Lar Corbett and a yellow card to Jackie Tira. And perhaps now Lar will concentrate on what its primary purpose is, which is to, to play hurling and not to be chasing Tommy Walsh. Puck out comes down towards Brendan Ma. Gets a little touch to it. Good Kenny back in the attack. Great catch once again. This time by Henry Shepherd taking laying it off for his penalty. Oh, that's a brilliant hook by Michael Cowell coming to Tipperary's rescue at precisely the right time. And that is a 65, and there's a more arguments and physicality this time going on between Porig Maher, who seemed to pull on Henry Shefflin a little bit high as we watch this again. Yeah, well, what a catch by Henry Shefflin, first of all. Colin Fenley went inside. Now, the referee allowed the advantage there. A lovely touch into Colin Fenley and a great block down there, by my, or a hook by Michael Cahill. And I agree with you, Marty. I think when the ball did go out for the 65, Porig Maher seemed to... Uh, pull a little bit of a stroke on Henry Shefflin, but it's a 65 now. Henry met not. Richard Power is actually taking it. The sideshow that's attracting the crowd at the off camera the four lads, two from Tipperary and two from Kilkenny, doing a run around Croke Park. This is the sort of thing that's attracting the crowd of over 50,000. Meanwhile, <laughs> Richie Power takes the free, which is the main business. And Richie raises the white flag again. That's his third point of the match. This is ridiculous. Uh, well, the man I'm blaming for, De Declan Ryan has to take action, take off Larry Corbett, because he hasn't made no attempt to play the game since the start of it. I don't know what he's playing at or what he's trying to do, but it's an absolute joke at this stage. To Tommy Walsh is credit, he's not responding to it. Although I know he's on the other card. Ball comes in. Chasing after this. JJ Delaney and company are back there. Sent down front of the Hogan. Aidan Fogarty is underneath it. Equally as good under the high ball. He's working hard. Lays it back. Farris JJ Delaney. It's a good ball inside. Brendan Cummins comes off his goal line. Gets away from Colin Fennell. And then steps into the space and drives it long. Dropping ball. Patrick Bonamar gets a touch. Taking the hit again. JJ Delaney. Playing well. Jackie Tyrrell actually. Tyrrell drives it long. Coming through the centre is Aidan Fogarty. He has the space, he's on the 20, takes a shot, and it's in the back of the net. Brilliant goal by Aidan Fogarty. And Kel Kenny rejoice. And rightly so, a cracking shot by the Emeralds man Aidan 
Fogarty. And Brendan Collins just got a touch. But he and couldn't look. stop Fogarty's run. Right, that is classic goal, a brilliant, brilliant wing forward play. Tommy Stevan never moved from the right half back position, and Aidan Fogarty, you know, made a 40 yard run. Absolutely brilliant goal. Now can Tipperary respond for the second time to a Kilkenny goal? First it was TJ Reid, then Pat Burke. Now it's Aidan Fogarty. Tipperary. Character being tested. Ball goes out for a 65. It's a difference in the attitude, Martin. That's what it's all about. Aidan Fogarty has scored one three from play. He's playing a lark. Lar if you just watch it here, he just burst through the centre there. Look at Thomas Stapleton, just left stranded out in the middle of the field. And that's, that's called hard determination. And then to have uh, to beat a goalkeeper like Brendan Cummins from that distance. Now, Brendan might be a little bit disappointed, got to hurl up, but you know, straight into the net and a great goal. And that's a brilliant attitude. And one three from playing out made in Fogarty. And that last year, as I learned, John O'Keefe down that wing got a roast him as well. And, and Thomas Stapleton's getting it hard today. Shane Burke is on for Tipperary. And the man that's gone off is Brian O'Mara. So a change in the Tipperary full forward line. Pa Burke to take the free. Mr. Consistency all the way through. He now has a personal tally of a goal and eight points. Brian Cody must be well pleased with the response of his team and the hammering that they received from Galway here in the Leinster hurling final. They're showing the metal of true champions. Stepping away from the challenge, Aidan Fogarty. Porig Marr getting a hook in. Ball comes back out towards Colin Finlay. In comes Richie Parr. Confronting him is Shane McGrath. Torig Maher is there as well. Helmet is gone. The slipper is still there. And the referee says it's a free out. And again, tempers are afraid. Richie Power wondering, what have I got to do here to get a free? He's saying the helmet was pulled off it. Let's just watch this again. Shane McGrath comes in the tackle here, grabs him, by the, grabs him by the helmet and pulls his helmet off. Him. That's actually a yellow card uh, as well. He literally pulled the helmet off him. Yeah, but I, I can't believe that Thomas Stapleton has been left on Aidan Foley. He's gone off there and maybe substituted there now. Uh, I think maybe Paddy Stapleton might have come in while this has been going on. Change in the Tipperary team. Paddy Stapleton in for Thomas Stapleton as the ball comes back down far as Brian Hogan. Centre back playing in a corner back or full back position there momentarily. Ball in the centre. First thing involved is uh, Porig Ma. Stepping forward to the challenge, about to be hooked, puts it into the space. Ball carried a little bit too much pace. David Herity deals with it more than adequately. Kieran Joyce goes for distance. Easy ball for fullback and captain Paul Kern lays it off for his Porig Ma. Patrick Bonamar goes up for it. Brian Hogan judges it to perfection. Ball swung over this side. Owen Larkin gets a touch. Coming forward is Aidan Fogarty. Paul Kern is there, leading. By example, winning the dirty ball and trying to start a temporary move. Brendan Ma laying it inside. Noel McGrath, nice ball inside first. John O'Brien scored once already. This one looks is a little bit short, but it comes back off the post. Still a little bit of pressure for David Herity. This time he deals with it impressively. And he wins himself for free. As Patrick Bonomar just arrived a little bit late as O'Brien shot him back off the post. Yeah, we've seen a lot of activity around that Kilkenny goal. That's the second ball that came back off the post. David Herity much more alert there and fouled by Bonomar. But you'd have to say, Marty Kilkenny, no more than the first half. They seem to be dominating the game. They're all over. And yet there's only four points in it. And you know, you'd imagine if Tip can just settle down, get some sort of a formation on their forward line and concentrate on playing ball up there, that they're still not gone out of this game. Batted away by Michael Cahill. Killian Buckley is at the end of it, waiting for it. And he scores in this All-Ireland semi-final. The substitute has done well since introduced from Michael Rice. It's Kenny now 2.15, Tipperary 1.30. Great catch by John O'Brien. Just took his eye off it momentarily, ahead of JJ Delaney. Putting the hurley in there, it's Delaney onto the left-hand side. Nice touch by Paddy Stapleton. Far as Noel McGrath operating around the 40, dropping in a little bit short. Easy ball for David Herity, who wisely goes for distance. Remember Kilkenny playing with a strong wind in this second half. Paul Kern being chased by two 
Kilkenny players. Gets it out first, Conor O'Mahony. O'Mahony under pressure from Colin Fennell. Curran is there, trying to get past TJ Reid. Flicks it forward first, Paddy Stapleton. Under pressure, three Kilkenny forwards converge, and it comes to the man who has the scoring touch of a goal and three points, Aidan Fogarty. And again, the referee's whistle is blown, and it is a free in for Kilkenny. Well, that was unbelievable tackling, Marty. TJ Reid, Owen Larkin, both very involved in. Again, Aidan Fogarty, who's been everywhere, back uh, onto the breaking ball again and fouled. And, you know, the intensity of the tackling from the very start from the Kilkenny forwards has been huge. The tip-backs just can't get out with the ball, and as a result, they're playing very, very poor ball into their own forward line. And, you know, as I said earlier, tip have no bat shape in their forward line, they've no full forward line in place in there, and they're poking ball in straight into the goalie. Henry Shefflin. Easy for a player with that quality. Six points between the teams. Kilkenny, by the way, have scored one goal and seven points to Tipperary's three points in this second half. Brian Hogan begins to dominate the middle channel at number six. Down towards Henry Shefflin. Owen Larkin putting the challenge in and winning the hard ball against Paul Corn. He leaves Corn for dead. in the game. His name is Brendan Cummins, but Owen Larkin scores for the first time in the All-Ireland semi-final, and surely he's booked the Cats for a place in the All-Ireland final against Galway. Well, absolutely. Marty, watch it again here, Owen Larkin. Has it quite enough last couple of games, but he's been sharp today. Just walked around Paul Curran there, and great finish into the corner of the net. And as you say, look at it. what a fantastic second half display from Kilkenny. We were still talking about where Lara was, and Henry Shefflin had brought them level, and since then, their attitude, their commitment, their desire has never waned, and some brilliant finishing since, and their attitude is absolutely fantastic. And I just don't know what, you know, I'd be surprised by Tipperary's attitude. Lara Corbett shouldn't be left on the field, in my uh, opinion, with the way he went on since the start of the game, and I think that, you know, the likes of Owen Kelly and Seamus Callan still sitting on the sideline at this stage of the game, uh, and the game is over now, really, as a contest. And Paul Curran, it must be said, seemed to pick up an injury as on Larkin took a, a step into a different gear and bypassed him as such. Well, they're worn out to tip backs, but the, the tackling of the Kenny forwards is savage since the start of the game, and they're just not able for the intensity of it. Now, what have Tipperary got in their tank and their artillery? Because at the moment, it's all Kid Kenny, showing why they have been one of the best teams we've seen in the game of hurling for many years. TJ Reid lays it off as Richie Parr. Positions mean absolutely nothing. You may be named a corner forward, you could end up wing back. Because that's the position of Richie Power and TJ Reid at times have been. This time, it's a free out for Tipperary as Paul Curran wins a free, hard earned, it must be said, against Henry Shefflin and company. And there is a yellow card for Henry Shefflin, who seemed to stand on uh, Paul Curran's hurley, I think, there, as Curran was trying to get up off the ground. So it's a yellow card for Henry Shefflin. Free taken by Brendan Cummins. Remember, this is a game that was level on eight occasions. But look at the uh, top of your screen, now nine points between the teams. Shane Burke trying to win one back, but unfortunately for him, it's to the left and wide. So it remains 25 points to 16, or 316 to 113. Puck out by David Herriton. Dropping down towards TJ Reid. Loose ball. Picked up on this occasion by Aiden Fogarty. Back to Reid. Who've tormented the temporary defence. Finnelly lays it off to Larkin. Going for goal number two. And Paul Curran takes him down. And that is unquestionably first a yellow card and uh, a penalty as well. Absolutely. Um, great ball again. TJ Reid, who's 